Hi everyone, so uh, today I've made a loading screen for you guys. This will be uh, free, so the model is in the dis uh, description and I'll show you how to use it. Uh, before this video starts, I have created a Patreon where you guys can support me, where I also I will upload models and assets up there. So uh, yeah, it's linked in the description. So, uh, you're going to want to download the model, obviously, and then you will get this uh, in your workspace. So, we'll have camera parts and loading screen. Just put the camera parts in the workspace. As you can see, we have three camera parts here, showing different views of the map, whatever. You can also uh, uh, move these to your, like, designated areas. And then, we'll put loading screen into starter GUI. So, you can open the starter GUI up, and you'll have the handler and these things. You, you wouldn't need to mess with uh, these um, five right here. Uh, this handler script is probably what you will need. So I'll explain everything that uh, you can customize in the script. So all this you don't need right now. So here, this is where you could edit your text. So this is the welcome to text. So obviously say welcome to and then your game name. But this will come at the end of the loading screen. So I'll create game text or you like create by your username. And then you've got the scripted text, so whoever scripted your game, you've got the built by text, so this is whoever built your game, and then you got the loading data. And then you got the music. So inside the script here, there's a music um property, and you can change the sound ID to your music. And then you don't need to mess with this or that. So all this is just tweeting like these two bars, but I'm gonna need to show you guys a quick tutorial. So the you know, these bars are going to make the bars, like these two here, they're going to make them go up and this one go down. So to do this for yourself, you're going to want to move this up like this, to your, to your position. And then you're going to want to copy the position here. And then once you do that, you could put it back into its position. And then paste it into this. When you paste it in, you're going to get these two. You're going to get these two brackets, these like brackets, delete these brackets. And then you're going to want to do the same for Cinemic Bar 2. Like that. Like to your position, then you're going to copy the position here and do it and then put that position to here. Then once you do that, that part's done. Make sure you delete these brackets if you get any. And then once you've done that, yeah, you do the, do the positions. So this is the position for these two bars to go. This one to go up, this one to go down. Now, uh, we go back into the handler. So this will go up, it will show the created game text, wait for, and then it will put the bars back in its original position. So all you need to do is for this is, since it's already in its position, you just need to copy the position in the properties for both of them. Paste the Sydney bar, bar 1 position there, and then the other one there. And then obviously delete these brackets. So... It, it's, it could fit to your screen, and then obviously you're gonna want you to use up use auto scale light to uh, obviously scale all your all the GUI. So you should scale the cinematic bars and all these th and these three text labels. So now that we've got that done, look. Uh, so right now, I presume that you've used a text label for your game name. But if you have a logo for your game, as you can see right here, it's also in the script. I'm sure you what to do now. So for this part, you're going to want to delete the game title. And you're going to want to insert an image label and obviously import your um, logo. You're going to want to position your logo somewhere. So I, for this, my, uh, my game title is here. You can't see it right now. It's got nothing in it, it's got like, the text is nothing, but if I put something in here, make it visible, as you can see, it's right there. So, if you have a game logo, just put it positioned, and then the welcome text is here, so, just type in something in it and make it visible, this is the welcome text, and then, read that. Sorry. You see, this is where the it'll say it'll say welcome to, and then the game logo here. But you could position this where you want. So I'm just gonna control Z that. Let's try to one. Um, and then uh, once you've positioned that your game logo, 
re rename the te rename your logo to game logo like on the rename the image label to game logo then go back into the handle script and then instead of game label instead of this part you could instead of game title you're going to do dot game logo here and then uh you, you can just delete this uh thing here you delete line 28 and then lo looks like there's a bit of an error then i'll change that in the later on so now once you've done the git dot game logo you can delete the game name uh this, this line here 28 and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see uh, this part here so you're going to want to set the logo the you've got a logo it'll be game logo uh dot visible equals to false so do you'll do game logo dot visible equals to false and then you can just delete this one line here or you can just delete this line here and then you can just change from game label to um, game logo dot visible equals to true then it'll wait four seconds and then do dot game logo dot visible equals to false and then it'll change your welcome label to false and then you could change you can change this to the music you want obviously in here and then that's really it. But if you do want to add more camera camera positions, if I set this enable to off, as you can see, I have three camera positions. So the first one will be here, the second one will be here, and the third one will be here. But if you want to add more, all you need to simply do is duplicate it and move it to your position wherever you want. So I'll just move it here. I'll rename it to camera part four and then you're going to go back into the script and then you're going to scroll down now you are you so you'll see in these 1.5 ones here so as you can see where it says b stuff where it says game camera dot c frame dot camera part two dot c frame you can change this to um camera part three and then you could, you could change it to what you want so like here let me show you so these are the variables for the camera so all you need to do will do local camera part four equal to camera parts folder so it's already it's already a variable here uh wait for child camera part four and then you're gonna want to find weight 1.5 so every weight so ev everything under weight 1.5 is like the like the showing so it'll show the scripted by text it'll change the camera and everything like that so you could change it here so i'll do camera part 4.c actually that's camera part 3 that's camera part 2 i mean that's 3 and then where it loops back to 1 again i'll change this one to 4 so i can change that and then like that so that's how you really change it so now if i play this game Make sure you have it enabled. And there you go. So that's the loading screen. And after the loading screen, the music will uh, stop. But if you don't want the music to stop, just delete this line here. If you want new music to play, uh, just just do um just you know refine where your the music you want to play is. So let's say I have a sound in the workspace. So I'll do game dot workspace dot the, the sound name, and then play like that. That's if you want to play a new sound when your loading screen's done. Uh, so that's it. This is a um, free model, so it's in the description. Obviously, there's more comment. There's comments all over the script, so you might understand it better for what I've been saying. So uh, yeah. Um, I hope this. I hope you like this menu.